All right, looking for your strangest fetishes in life. Either you had it or somebody else told you, hey, here's what I like to do. All right, 702-791-1075, your best fetishes. Uh, Samantha, what is, uh, is it your fetish or somebody else's? Uh, it was my boyfriend's fetish. What was it? Wow, throw him under the bus. Let's hear it. Well, I was in a long-distance relationship, and I actually moved out to Vegas to be with this guy. And right when I got here, he divulges to me that he has a fecal fetish. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's got to be oh. the worst. No, the wait. absolute worst. <laughs> wait, a minute, wait a minute. Was uh, he wearing a diaper? No, no, no. It wasn't like that. What he wanted. You know, I, right. I, 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 I just... Like yeah. I just don't know, Samantha, that we can but go like, down. I'll, I'll be. I'll keep it very PC. What he wanted was. Uh, it's not the PC uh, yeah, I'm worried yeah, about. I'm not, I'm not worried. We've already crossed the PC <laughs> line. Right, yeah, we're well over that. Uh, just give us a slight hint. <laughs> right. He wanted me to use the restroom and not clean up after myself. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. That's right, right, enough. Right, that's just yeah, enough. That's, uh, all right. Uh, right. Okay. And but, so that, I anyways. thought I thought uh, so, Ransom's long neck fetish was strange. <laughs> this is off the chart. Yeah. Ransom and Jeffrey the Draft are going to watch <laughs> movies again. Okay, so listen, he has you do that. That's clearly a deal breaker, right? Like that was the last time you talked to the guy, or does somehow he get another chance? Well, I didn't ever do it. I just tried to understand it. No, but he presented this to you. So was that immediately a deal breaker or you're like, well, let's let's go a little further into this. And maybe that's the only weird thing. I said, let's see what else is there. Maybe this he's just being (laughs) shocking, right? Well, I mean, you moved. You said you moved here for the guy, right? No, he, right. So oh. no, I moved here. So this is big right. investment. So I'm like, all right, you know, let's see what else is going on here right now. You know. <laughs> so uh, part, <laughs> let's see what else is going this, on here. Uh, the other part of this fetish is that he wanted me to fart and he wanted to smell them. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. All, all right. right. So then you broke up with the guy, right? Yeah. He, clearly. clearly. Uh, <laughs> She's like, nope. Six-year anniversary. No, next, I said, next what month. else is going on here? <laughs> I just kept giving him chances. Uh, Mike, what's up, man? What's the fetish, dude? Hey, what's uh, going on, guys? Hey, buddy. Uh, what do you got? So, I was in Omaha, Nebraska, and I met this girl, and we hung out all day. And we get to her house. We start getting down, and she pulls a bucket of fried chicken from under her bed and is eating it. No, I I just... I got to go. I'm like, I got to go. And she's like, no, this is what I like. This is what I left. Mid, mid, I didn't even get mine. I'm gone. Wait a minute. Just don't believe. I mean, he's doing a bit. (laughs) Got to be doing a bit. No, I would not lie to you. Dead serious. Well, I don't know. Nebraska. You said you were with her all day, which means... We were with each other all day. Right, right, right. So there's no refrigerator underneath the bed. Which means nope. that was some skank ass rotten chicken. <laughs> she, she she was four eleven pushing three hundred. I mean, it was it was He's, a bad situation. I should have never been there. Mike, you know, <laughs> Mike, you know how I know you're lying because lying. every man loves sex and fried chicken. There's no <laughs> way not, you say no to that. Not at the same time with four eleven three hundred. I don't think so. This isn't like, this a fried chicken fetish. Position. This is a salmonella fetish because that's what was going to happen. It almost kind of sounds like Mike has a fat chick fetish. <laughs> but he said, what, 4, 11, yeah, 300? Yeah. Are you serious? I was in a, I was in a, well, a mention, desperate time, man. Here's the thing. If it's under the bed all day when you pull that bucket of chicken out, they look like glazed donuts because <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> That so fat just, like, like materializes. <laughs> I mean, you need a knife just to get through all the glazed fat. No lie. I spent three months in Omaha, and I, this was it. I was like, I got to leave this city. <laughs> she was like, uh, I got to I gotta meet Miss Nebraska. <laughs> three months. He said he was having a bad day. And that was going to fix his bad day? Going home with the chick who's 4'11", 300, and wants a hey man, chicken? Th- that might be what he's into, and if no, it is, then... Nah, nobody's I'll into tell you that. what, man. Nobody, nobody. Some people are. 4'11", I've three s- bills? I've seen that true life on MTV once. Dude, 5'11", three bills is a huge problem. You're taking 12 <laughs> inches off the top, and it's... Jesus. <laughs> I'm telling you what, man. though. Fried chicken can cure any ails, man. Must have been some good chicken. <laughs> he pulled it out under the bed and said, I love this. <laughs> Megan, what is uh, what is your fetish? 
Oh, man, I have to follow up the fried chicken story? I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody had to do it. The good thing is, is your story is oh, probably real, we hope, so. <laughs> I wish it wasn't. Does that count? <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's hear it and see what happens. Is it yours or someone else's? It was a guy I was dating. Okay. Um, I was going through a rough time, and I was on the phone with him, and I was crying. And all of a sudden, I noticed he was breathing really heavy. And I was like, what are you doing? He was like, nothing. I just keep going. And I was like, are you pleasuring yourself right now? He Wait, was, was he on the phone or in front of you? Yeah, no, he was on the phone with me. He was at work, and I was going through a rough time, and I called him, and he was just pleasuring himself while I cried. And I later found out that he had a crying fetish. He enjoyed when people cried. Oh, ah, so you were crying, and it was turning him on. Yeah. Yeah. Now, was that the first time that, that you is that the first time you had cried on the phone? No, it wasn't. Yes. But it, it was the last time. <laughs> well, why does that upset? I don't understand why that upsets you. I Hold mean, what he's he, Be- you're emotional, and he's he's uh, celebrating your emotions in in a good way. That, uh, it's it later came out the reason why he enjoyed it, and I had to walk away. Well, what's the reason? Tonight. What's the reason? He had a really bad childhood, and oh. he had some very scary oh. things Hold happen on. to him. Before we throw this guy under the bus, Megan, can you cry for us? Maybe we can understand what he's going through. No. It might be the sexiest no. cry of all time. Must be a sexy cry. Yeah. You brought you know, it out. No? It's possible, but I don't know if I care. Wow. All right. It was very disturbing. You know, I I always say if you can think of it, it exists when it comes to fetishes or, like, porn or whatever. But, I mean, I would have never guessed crying is the uh, aphrodisiac. Seems like uh, that could have been something a woman wanted. He was emotional, you know. It wasn't just like, let me tell you, most guys, when you call and you cry, they roll their eyes, they're making faces, they're looking at their buddy doing the little whack-off thing, and they're like, my freaking girlfriend, wife, whatever, she's crying again. This guy's, like, getting emotional with you. He's going through the journey with you, and you just said, get out of my life. He was over here trying to have an emotional connection with you. When I try and say I made every excuse for him as possible because I – really liked the kid but then when the reason came out i was like "Ooh, it's a lot of baggage once you call him she a was, kid you don't really like him and she was like this guy's <laughs> just perfect man he'll sit there and watch the notebook with me just cry and with <laughs> his pants off yeah <laughs> it's just so are you with somebody else now no i'm single yeah you just you gotta got hide that. you're tough you got a tough standard i guess so my standards are just impossible all right it's probably a good thing hold on a second megan good job